Good morning, it's so early, it's about half six and it's still dark outside and I'm going to work but then I'm going straight from work into London um, for a few drinks and then go in to watch the Chelsea game. I'm so tired, I literally haven't even had a sip of coffee yet. Um, and I thought I would do a sort of like vlog style get ready with me sort of thing. Um, sort of like a very casual, very tired get ready with me just to see how long it takes me to wake up in the morning and just look somewhat presentable. Um, usually when I go to football I curl my hair but I don't really have enough time slash can't be bothered so um, my hair is has been straightened. Um, when was it straightened? I washed it the day before yesterday so that was when it got straightened and I'm just going to run the straightness through it again just lightly just to kind of fix up any bits and I'm waiting for the um, hot water to heat up so I can have a shower so I'm going to straighten my hair, drink my coffee, have a shower and then I don't know what I'm going to wear or anything like that so yeah let's just take it one step at a time because it's very early and I've only got about two hours before I need to leave the house. Ugh. Ugh. Since my GHDs broke, I've been using my mum's straighteners because they're a little bit better than mine, but she's obviously asleep, so I've got to use my ones, which are fairly rubbish. But I'm only doing this roughly because it's not too bad, but. I don't even know if these straighteners will do anything. The cord's too short, I've got to move. <laughs> I never use these because they're just not great on my thick hair. And my hair gets quite caught cool in them as well. But as you can see, I'm not like separating it or anything. Like, I really can't be bothered. Today's going to be quite a can't be bothered day. I don't know how I used to get up at this time every day for work, like I only have to do it once a week now and it's so torturous. I've never filmed a get ready with me like this, they always have been with like music over the top and stuff. So I guess this is going to feel more like it belonged in my vlog and I forgot to put it in. I was actually just going to vlog today instead but I'm not going to have a lot of time now if I'm filming this. Oh shit, I fell off. <laughs> right, I can't really be bothered to do anything else to that and I'm going to have to put my hair up when I go for a shower so I don't think this through so I might not even have to touch, touch it back up again when I have, after I have my shower. So I'm just going to leave it at that for now and we'll see what the sitch is after I get out of the shower. I really hope my coffee is at a good temperature to drink now. Girl needs her coffee. Have I got time to just sit in bed for a bit? And ship? No, I don't. I've got to do my nails at some point as well. Coffee's kind of still hot at the moment, so I'm going to try and find something to wear. Ugh. It's too early to have thoughts like this. <laughs> Okay, I just got out of the shower, it's now half seven and so I've got like about an hour, it depends because I'm going to get a cab to work so I've got no idea, you never know with cabs, I could get an Uber but an Uber's a little bit more expensive than a cab so it is where I live anyway but it depends on how fast the cab driver drives, this time of day they normally go pretty fast for me <laughs> but um, yeah, so all I've got to do now is Put all my contact, put in my contact lenses, do my skincare, makeup, and then nails if I get the chance. Nails aren't that important, but I would like to get them done. But if I don't, it's okay. But yes, contact lenses first. I'm really having trouble to focus my eyes, and I'm pretty sure I haven't put my contacts in the wrong eyes. But I really can't see. It's really blurry. I don't know whether I should try switching them, but I'm like 99% sure that they're in the right eyes. Unless they're 
the wrong way around. I don't know. I really don't have time to faff around with this, but I can't go out like this. I can't bloody see anything. <coughs> I just made spray deodorant. I can't breathe. <coughs> right, I'm using Sensitive Skin Toner from Skin Therapy, which is from Superdrug. The reason I my eyesight was blurry, I sat there and took my left contact lens out, put it back in, it was fine. And then I spent a really long time trying to get my right contact lens out until I realised there wasn't actually a contact lens in my eye. So it had fallen out my eye without me noticing. And I'd just been trying to take my eyeball out basically. So I found my contact lens on my chair, rinsed it in the little solution, put it in. And now I can see, but my eye is a little bit sore from trying to basically take out my eyeball. Um, right, fresh cotton pads. And now I'm going to use the Naturally Radiant Infused Plant Extract Glycolic Tonic Acid. 5% acid. Is it glycolic or glycolic? I never know. I like to use an acid. feel like it really gets into my skin more than anything else and this one smells really nice this one is a little bit of a stinger I will say that very mild sting nothing I can't handle if anything it wakes me up a little bit and don't worry it's not like giving me a reaction my face just goes red whenever I use anything on it it goes down after a while Next I'm going to use the Vitamin E Skincare Moisture Boost Facial Serum and I'm nearly out of this. I have got a replacement though but I want to make the most of it so I'm just get it out on the pump and put it on my fingers. I really need a good intensive day cream but I don't have one because um, my skin is quite rubbish at the moment. That's just the Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream on my dry lips. Um, if I've got any left then I'll use the Elemis Hydro Boost Day Cream but I've got a feeling it ran out. Oh, I feel really rough. Oh, we've got a little bit. Oh. I didn't use an eye cream but <coughs> I always forget eye cream because I'm running out of it so whatever. Right, <coughs> still got deodorant in my throat. Let's put on some makeup. First of all I'm going to prime my skin using Prime of Your Life Smoothing Light Reflecting Primer. Please forgive me if I'm not as chatty in this part because I'm a bit worried that I'm going to be late. <laughs> right, um, next I'm going to get a green concealer from my Lorac palette just to conceal the redness in some, a few spots that I've got. I'm just going to put that on my finger because I haven't got time to find the right brush for this sort of thing. That will probably die soon. I think I've got a spell on charge, so it's not too bad. And then my nose is like to get very red underneath as well, so I'll pop a bit there for good measure. Give that a little blend because no one wants to have a green nose. Oh, that looks better already. Um, foundation. I think today I'm going to go for my Giorgio Mart. Ow, I <laughs> keep chair Giorgio Armani luminous silk foundation and I'm going to put it on my finger dab it around my face and then blend it with a brush I'll be gutted when this runs out because I bought it off eBay and I can't afford the real thing and it's one of my faves not the real thing this is real I can't afford to buy it new is what I meant to say this was at least half the price and it hadn't been used or it had been used once or something I think it was the wrong shade for the girl that I bought it off of. Mm -hmm. 
feel like I may have put too much on, but... And I usually use this a different brush, but I just experienced something I've never experienced before, and that is a full memory card. And then I took the card out and realised that is because it was a 16 gig. And I usually use 32, I never use a 16 gig, so that would be why. So I use that as a good opportunity to change my battery as well, because then I won't be interrupted with that later. I said this in my vlog yesterday, but I'm having such bad skin at the moment. I sometimes think just putting foundation on is just going to make it look even worse because I think it actually highlights it. The foundation just clings to the bad patches and it's not a fun time. I sort of hate going into London now for obvious reasons. I just, just don't like it anymore really. I'm, I'm usually fine when I'm there like I'll have a little bit of a worry every now and then but the anticipation and the travelling and stuff I switch to my Zoeva brush which I always do with foundation or Zoeva I would say Zoeva but so many people say Zoeva um, yeah, I will always finish my foundation off with this, but never start it with it. I don't know why. It's just something I've always done since the beginning of foundation. <laughs> See, I feel like that was a waste of the Giorgio Armani foundation because my skin is so shit at the moment that it doesn't look good anyway. Whereas it has looked really nice in the past, right? Stop moaning. You're such a moany cow. We're going to use the Holy Grail Collection Last Imperfection Concealer. I've got a stray eyebrow hair there. Get away from me. And we're going to go hard or go home under these eyes. And we're going to take it all the way to town up top. And then a little bit in our favourite nose area. And then we'll do a little bit on these little spotty dotties up there. And then a bit on the chin and whatever. Two dots on the nose, can't hurt can it? A couple of dots on the nose. Um, perhaps I will now switch back to, no I won't, I don't know where it is. Where's my favourite little brush? Favourite little brush? Oh, no. I'm just going to use a different expert face brush because I feel like this one has a lot of, have a lot of foundation on it and I don't want to look super cakey. I don't know if that makes any sense but it's logical to me. And we're going to have to do a lot of dabbing now. Not that salt, this salt. <laughs> I have never dabbed in my life, that was my first ever dab and I'm quite embarrassed that I did it. It's five minutes to eight. I have got about 30 minutes. Fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> okay, Hannah, you don't have all this time to dab. You've got to move on. My nails are not getting the treatment they deserve, do they? <gasps> Jesus Christ, a bird just flew right above my window and looked like it was going to come on my face. Moving on. Do you ever think like, okay, this is as good as it's going to get, because <laughs> we're going to be using the Rimmel Stay Matte Translucent Powder, when would I not? I really want to wear eyeshadow, but I don't have a good enough primer and it just creases within literally an hour, so, and I'm no good at eyeliner, I don't know what I'm going to do, I want to do something a little bit nicer. Um, we are going to go in for a little bit of highlight. We're going to use the Hocus Focus from Soap and Glory. Fuck, I 
doodle do. That went all over my floor. What? I know my jeans though, so that's a pass. Little bit of dab dab dab. Dabby dabby doo doo. Shit. Put that way too far under my eye. I think I'm going to make it a goal of mine that next year I'm going to become a makeup professional. Not a professional like makeup artist, but I'm going to be get really good at makeup. I'm going to make it a goal to become like so good at makeup. Because at the moment, I would say I'm probably. Okay, well, that wasn't even blended down there. <laughs> if you say that, like, I don't even know who the big makeup people are on YouTube because I don't watch makeup videos, but whoever the big makeup people are with, like, millions and millions of subscribers, there are 10 out of 10 on makeup, obviously. I would say I am about a four, maybe a four and a half, if I'm feeling generous to myself. I want to get to, like, a solid seven. Eight. Let's go for eight. I don't know who an eight would be in comparison, but we're gonna go for it. Ah, oh, I'm going. I'm using uh, the old benefit. Give me brow. Give me brow. Cause it's just the easiest one thing to use. I can be quick with it. You know, you don't have to be too precise. Cause I'm literally just brushing my eyebrows. I feel like every time that I go a little bit blonder with my hair I always feel like my brows look so dark but they're really not when you compare them to like my actual colour of brows so they're just not really. Curling the lashes. Vital step. Right, what can I do to make my eyes a little bit fancier but not have eyeshadow creased all over them right I'm gonna do the older uh, makeup gallery glide away eyeshadow stick in the corners to give them a bit of pop and then I think I'll just use this same eyeshadow stick in a different color and just put it along my lash line and then blend it out so it's just a little bit dark and a little bit like I've done something It could look terrible. If it does, I'll just have to go with it because I haven't got time to uh, start that again. I'm actually quite a fan of the look where it kind of looks like you've slept in your eyeliner a little bit. I actually used to, when I used to sleep wearing my makeup when I was a teenager, I haven't done it in so long, but I used to love how my makeup looked the next day. Like, I was quite like emo and stuff, I guess so, but I really like a kind of like lived in eye look, if that makes any sense. But um, yeah, I think I'll leave it at that. I don't think like this will crease, so that's the main thing. Just a little bit, just a little bit to show I made an effort, but whatever. It just looks like oh, all I see though when I look here is this bloody spot. So next, I'm using the Benefit Their Real Tinted Primer. I've got two of these. One is dried up and one has got product on. And every time I forget to throw one away, I can't tell if this is the one that's kind of dry and gross. It feels a little bit lacklustre. That's the one. Throwing it away. Won't make that mistake anymore. There it is. There's the one. This is a fabulous, fabulous product. There are so many things I could call this video. I could call it tired, get ready with me. Casual, chatty, get ready with me. Rushed, get ready with me. The possibilities are absolutely endless. I'm so lucky really, I have so much choice. But you know when you got to do, you got to get the word autumn in there. Because that's what people seem to care about, is autumn. 
Roller Lash from Benefit, another firm fave. This one sort of needs to be thrown away as well, but I haven't got it in me to do it. Right, I think I'll do a little eyeliner on the waterline. I'm going to use this really old Barry and one, but it is so good. to do I'm not feeling brave enough to go for like a deep autumnal colour so we're just going to go I've got this pencil from L'Oreal this is Forever Rose I probably should have like blotted my lips because I've got a lot of lip balm on and that lip balm is basically like Vaseline it is quite a hard colour to describe because it's kind of it is nude, but it's sort of a ready nude, so, I mean, I don't really have a lipstick to match, so I don't really think it's going to show that it's red. I think that bird is, like, trying to live. I don't know if you can hear that. That's on my outside wall. It sounds like my wall is crumbling. I think it's probably just a bird, but... I'm playing a very risky game talking while doing lip liner. Um, yeah, I definitely don't have a lipstick that will match that, so I'm just going to put any lipstick on. Um, I'm feeling MAC. I don't wear enough of my MAC, so... Is that a bit too dark? I don't know. Satin. I forgot what satin feels like. I don't want a matte. It's too drying for me. Yeah, I'm going to use twig. That actually isn't a bad match, really. It kind of goes nicely together. I think that was a fairly good shout. Well done to me. Right, now I have to decide what makeup I will take with me in case I want to touch it. In case I want to do any touch-ups. So, lip products can come with me. Um, and I have a powder in my handbag already. Mm. Oh, nothing can conceal the bags under my eyes, I'm telling you. Um, let's take, let's take the NYX eyebrow pencil just because it has a comb on there. And if I, I don't want my eyebrows to get out of place. Um, so yeah, I think that's what I really need to take and, um, yes. What's the time? Eight past eight. I'm gonna try and do my nails. Probably won't film it because I've really gotta like rush this. <laughs> my nails are totally screwed. <laughs> I mean I got I had to stick a false one on both my index fingers, but the nail varnish I've just completely smushed it all up about eight minutes before I need to get an uber hopefully there is actually an uber around there was about an hour ago because <laughs> um, like I don't live in a city or anything you've got a, it's kind of there's not always ubers available so um, here's my outfit I wore it in a vlog the other week actually um, my shirt is from monkey my vest is from Topshop my jeans are autograph at m and and my boots are Primark my bag is um, River Island and I'm just going to throw on a leather jacket, which is my mango one. So yeah, that is my outfit. My nails are completely screwed up, but hey-ho, at least. I don't know, I think I did a pretty good colour match on the uh, fake nail-ish. I probably should have given it a coat of all the other ones, but whatever. But yeah, I'm off now, and thanks for watching me get ready. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys in the next one.